What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Where y'all been? Hello, Where y'all been everybody. <laughs> what y'all doing over there? What's going on? Lena just fixed us the most delicious matzah <laughs> meal. In between these sessions, she's out there with the grill going, the fires <laughs> going everywhere. You know, I, I'm like, our family's, I'm over here handling kingdom business. Lena's got the fire going. And we had to get yep. back on here to get this last session in because we're tearing it down. And y'all know we're going to rip this one up. Easter's nothing but pagan, period. Pagan. We're going to prove, prove it later. What's going on? Who we got on here, later? Let's hit some shout outs. Yes, Hit the like button. Let's have, go. Amber House. We have Pamela. We have Renee. We have Emily. Jamie Galloway. Rich Cap. Uh, get your mic, Lena. Get your mic closer to you. Get your mic closer to you. Can you hear me better? Yeah, get there? it closer. Yeah, get it closer. Get it closer. I got it. I got it. I got it there. Can you hear me? Yeah, good way there? better. Way better. Okay, Danielle Levy, Renee. We have your money in the house. We have Michael Nicholas, Sweet PP12, Ebony. Uh, woo. Everybody just type where you coming from, Rush, and you love Yahoo. Sherry Lynn, Jesse Gillespie. Uh, we have. Uh, hey, uh, Bacote back with some kingdom business. Daniel, so let's get it rocking. Elizabeth, Robert you right, Edson, everybody. Like if I miss you, you know we're we're looking at we're looking at all the messages from the channels that we are right now on live so everything is coming together so just bear with with those messages we're looking at everything at the same time so welcome back everybody ready to turn down this eastern pagan holiday we're gonna tear easter up elmer and kareem 6 26 a.m in the philippines lena 6 26 Hello over there in the Philippines. We want to say good morning to you. We appreciate you being up, ready to go tear it down. What time is it, Robert Renson, over in Portugal? We got Portugal rocking. Again, thank you to Daniel Bacote for that awesome super there. What time we got over in Portugal, Robert Renson? Tell us what's going on. Let's see what time he says. Big what shout out. Time? Shout out to Daniel, Libby, Emily. Yamani's in here. Renee is in here. Renee Burdett. Yeah. Celeste Monique. Hey, so this, this Celeste tear it up, Lena. She oh, was what? on fire. She was on fire. Celeste oh. went in strong. Got great feedback on Sister Celeste tearing it down. Yeah. Rich Cat. Who, who is that, Rich Cat? What's your name? I want to know Rich Cat. That's a new name I'm seeing up here. Let's tear yeah, it down. Let's go. Jamie Galloway. Name. Jamie Galloway Steady, one of our ardent, ardent supporters. Come on. Pamela Linus. Linus. Pamela is from the Northern, Northern Ireland. Pamela said, the, the staff said they're trying to work with you to get your contribution in. They said, hang tight. They're going to be with you. So Pamela, yeah. you know, technology, some people get it quick. Some people don't. No problem. We'll get you handled. Sister yeah. Amber's in the building. Robert, Robert Aronson said it's 10 27 p.m. his time. Okay, not too bad, Lena. We're only about five hours, so we can call Robert, you know, way up in the night. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready, Robert. Rob, hey, we got Marquise and Lene back in the building, the Lions family, Yay. the Leonis. Who knows where Yahoo is going to take us through this session, but y'all see the title. And y'all know I'm getting ready to do some stuff. No telling what Lena's going to bring. Randy yeah, Moon's yeah. up in here. Lane and Heather back up in here. Gerald Underwood's up in here. Who Kmart? Tell me the name. I know your name ain't Kmart. I want to know your name. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. 1025 in Northern Ireland. Okay. Mm -hmm. Getting up in the evening. So guess what? Put your seatbelts on. If you stay here with us, you're going in past midnight So over there in... uh. Ireland. Keenan Martino. Keenan Martino. Is that Latino? I want to know if Martino, because usually the, that O on the end does, you know, there's a difference in that Martin and Martino. You got to start rolling R's if you get that O on the end, right? Then Martino. Otherwise, it'd be Martin or Martin. 
that's the last name, so I'm not sure. <laughs> He's There's a no, no, no role. role. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Should ready? I hit him hot? For, should I hit him hot from the gate, or should Let's I still let it build up a little bit? Gate. Should I just come straight in hot, Lena? Straight in hot. This this one deserve it. This old pagan needs to be <laughs> shot. The head needs to be shot off. <laughs> Lena says, "Shoot it in the head." <laughs> Lena says, "Shoot this one in the head, Joe." This yeah. one deserves to be shot straight in the head. Yeah, just right. because this door was closed. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, over here, they're closing the grocery stores at 4 p.m. today. Yeah. In Columbia. And it's holiday. People's not working. So signs yesterday, people was so not Linda, working. why they close the stores at 4 p.m. in most Latin countries on today being the pagan day they call Friday? Sister Sherry's in the building. Good to see you. Come on. Because they're saying, for them, they say JSUS was killed today around 4 o'clock. So they're closing these doors at that time and letting people go to their house and do whatever they're going to do. And they presented all these movies. And at nighttime, they're going to bring all these pagan idols. And they're going to do, uh, I don't even know how they call it, but it's like, Everybody in the streets walking with that thing there. People on the sides of the roads just looking at pagan idols. So it's crazy. They call it like uh, Saint Friday. Saint Friday. I'm telling y'all. Saint Friday. Come on, man. Linda sent me up to the store real quick. I ran up to the store. The guy said, we're closing the door. I said, what's going on? <laughs> and the dude pointed the door. He says, Santos, Santos, Dia. Santos, Dia. Don't they call it that? Yeah, Dia Santos. Yeah, Santos. He said Santos and Dia in there somehow. Yes, Amber, it's like a parade with pagan idols. <laughs> Emily, see, I feel you all. It's bad. Yeah, I know you're in Mexico, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's really bad with all the uh, praising of uh, Virgin, Virgin Mary over there. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy in Latin countries. They take it, like, super serious, and they don't even know what they're doing. Like, no they're clue. eating fish. Like, they read it. They're watching movies, right? They're watching the movie of Masha, okay? They're watching Moses, and they love the movie. Love like, it. The movie is correct. Like, the movie is correct. They use the wrong names, but the movie is correct, right? And they're seeing that Masha is commanded to kill a lamb. Not a fish, a lamb. And eat some lamb, but still they're like, we cannot eat no red meat today. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, man. Hey, I want to send a shout out to everybody that understands the assignment. We're in a telethon. That means we're doing raise today. It's a fundraising day. If you guys would be so gracious, if you'd be so honorable to go over to TSNT.org, any amount, I can see we've got our brother Blake Bernays over in Hawaii contributed. We got uh, Robert Arenson, who had already gave his first fruits this week. Robert did over five hundred dollars this week, but then he came back and said, "Look, I want to do fifty more dollars." He did fifty-two dollars because he wants to support today. He's our brother. He understands. James Harris, you know, twenty-one dollars twenty-three cents. You know, he, you know, Ashley Spence, twenty-one dollars. We got people, uh, Lisa Austin. Uh, we've had new contributors. Trey Nevins, twenty dollars. Uh, we've got Simi, uh, Lutua, $100. Cheryl Storch, always blazing. Cheryl sits in the cut, but she's strong. Cheryl came in with $518. So it's just really you want to think from a first fruits perspective. Jamie Galloway, $10. Daniel Libby, $20. They're understanding, contributing to the project so we can tear these things down. I love something that Gerald Underwood said. What'd you say, Gerald? Jay, I live for this. Been waiting a long time for somebody to bring it like this. So when you see that, you got to encourage the encouragers. You've got to be able to say, all right, what we're doing here is a good thing. It needs to go throughout the entire world. We have a great team that does some great things and they get this word out. I mean, y'all saw like even with the lives and stuff, man, they do all these posts. I mean, with the uh, the shorts, 
you know, it's we get so we getting now we're getting into hundreds of thousands of views on our content, and we're watching. Me and Linda were just talking about it while we were eating our uh, matzo meal. You know, we had. Did y'all have your unleavened bread today? Did you have your unleavened bread today? We already had our unleavened bread, and like right when I bite into it, I say something to the family. I say, I say, I've done my obedience, Yahuwah. I, I, you said eat yes, eleven did. bread every day for seven days. Have you done that, Gerald? Seven said, days. Yes. Come on, seven and days. Bring an offer by fire. Are you bring out. Have you got that barbecue fire? lit and going? Did you get some on the grill? Yes. What are you grilling today, Cheryl? Lena in the building. Cheryl came through. Lena five hundred. Cheryl's always Robert, strong. He, Robert, Cheryl, hey, Cheryl, get ready to hit diamonds. She keep on. Cheryl don't mess around here, Diamond. She keep yeah, on. Girl. I love it. I love it. I love. Hey, Sherry's on her way to Diamond. Not even playing. Sherry ain't nothing but a uh, super know. I already know her. Sherry don't play. Sherry, she's very, very. Though she says she's eating hers right now. See what better? <laughs> have, have the live going. Sitting there eating your bar. Got your barbecue going. Eating your your yeah. unleavened bread. Now, let's read what Daniel Libby just said, Lena. And I want you to read with Daniel, our brother, Daniel Libby. Daniel, I think, is like 62. Is that right, Daniel? He had some years on earth. What did he, what he write? He said that true scripture is the most important work to get done and preach to the whole world. And then the end will come and Yahuwah will burn it up. What do you think about that? I think it's a, some. there are some strong words. But that's what's happening right now. Like if we look at our world right now and we see what happened when, in the time of, of Naha, we know we're at the end of times because it's, it's worse by the day. That's uh, the right. Gov the, the governments are pushing more paganism. The Push singers, singers, actors. All the entertainment industry, Lena. Gosh. Everything is, is, is going crazy all these things with 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 different sex and different how you feel uh obligating their kid their parents to allow their kids to identify themselves whatever they want is just pushing it to the dark it's pushing Crazy. it to the dark and we're so tearing we it have, down yes and we have to take control of of our lives and that's why this project is so important if you have the right if we, when we have the right word then we're able to teach our kids to put our lives in yep. the right order to yep. learn. We cannot say we're gonna meet Yahuwah, but we don't we don't what we what, what we're gonna talk to him if we don't know what he really said. <laughs> How are we gonna approach him? I mean that's what Shaul was saying. You gotta store up your treasure, like you gotta be built to go into Yahuwah. Don't wait till you get to Yahuwah. Of course, you're gonna do magnificent things there, but the positioning. When we get to La Yahuwah, it's going to be important. Now, Randy Moon says he's barbecuing as he sp as we speak. Uh, Amber says she grilled some salmon. Yeah. That's funny. She said, I should have made some burgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I, did. I haven't done fish this week just because I'm not going to get <laughs> into the weight of these people here. Okay, then wait a minute. My daddy said he grilled him some fish and he put Yahoo. All right, get that on the fire. Daniel Bocote said he's on his way to get his offer hey. made by fire. Ro Sophia Robert said she grilled said, some chicken. What's that? Robert Iron saying he said he forgot his unleavened bread. Go get it now. You still awake. <laughs> Y'all don't eat unleavened bread other day every day for seven days? Undisciplined. Yahoo got an issue with you. He gonna look. At, he gonna be like, "Why did you not obey me? I gave you a very specific, simple command. Every day, eat some leavened bread. Eat eleven, um, eat eleven bread every day for seven days." <laughs> I already ate it. <laughs> Good job, Robert. Don't get distracted. <laughs> uh, Yahoo, you. Most people say, "Hey, I want, I want Yahoo to bless me. I want Yahoo to give me favor." And Yahoo is going, "Are you obeying me? Yes or no?" That's right. Daniel Bacota, everybody smash the likes. How many likes we got going right now? Smash the likes. Smash the likes. Let's see. All right. Let's see how many likes we got before we go in. Yeah. 
burgers on the grill. We have hot dogs on the grill. Pretty sure that was uh, beef hot dogs. Yeah, hey, don't you? Yeah, I hope there ain't no swine. Every <laughs> time you hear hot dogs, ingredients. everybody got a question mark go up. Make sure you read very good ingredients of anything that is uh, kind of similar to, to that. But good job. We did some um, burgers on the, on the stick today. <laughs> Burgers on a stick. Make sure y'all ain't eat no. No, make sure y'all ain't eat no hamburger buns unless they unleavened. That'd be a unique burger with the unleavened bread in it with that hard unleavened bread. <laughs> that would be a hardy. My mom, my mom said it was like because she didn't realize how it was the unleavened bread, right? So she, uh, she was like, "You cannot make some burgers and put the bread that you're making." And I was like, "The bread I'm making is really crunchy. It's like a cracker." And she's like, yeah. "Oh, okay." <laughs> All right, Jesse said he's grilling some burgers now. Oh, yeah, uh, those are the good Adam ones. My, my wife makes a fresh batch every day. Was that her in the video, Adam? Adam put up some great video with her mixing it up. And then Sherry said, I eat it several times a day. And then Amber said, I took some for my lunch today. Renee said, eating some unleavened bread right now. <clears throat> Jamie Galloway said they get you with small writing with that fork. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Luya said, let me clarify this. This is Hebrew national all beef hot dog. <laughs> and those are I good. I can't wait to sit down with Luya. I think I'm going to laugh for a long time. This is going to be funny. I love those. I got two oh, burgers man. with onion salad and baked potatoes. Robert. Who is Rich Cap? I ain't figuring out who Rich Cap is yet. Rich cat. All right, look at that. Robert Lorenz says I had two two burgers with onions, salad, and baked potato. Ooh, that sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah Tello. Hey, Hannah came in. Hannah's our new bronze member, Lena. Congratulations, Hannah. That's the wife, I think, of Brendan. Give me confirmation, Hannah. I think Hannah is the wife of Brendan Tello. Uh, she said grilling some wings with a small salad and some unleavened bread. Like, 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 what's the problem to do that simple thing? Why go do a runoff and get some? Why be running off, shutting down the grocery store at 4 o'clock, eating fish all week, doing nothing? Ain't nobody done anything to observe Pesach. Nobody's done anything to observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread. None, no, none of them. The whole world's wondering after. I'm going to prove it in a second. They ain't done nothing feast the first fruits. No. Mm -mm. None. None. All right. Uh, Lane said Heather has made it fresh every night. <laughs> and then Adam said, yep, that's my beautiful wife. Yeah. Hold on, Gerald said my wife cooked some unleavened bread and I had some. Okay. Benjamin. Yeah. I'm using unleavened bread. Jesse Gillespie. How many of y'all being faithful? Look, Amber said, I feel like I'm being detailed. Ain't it a trip? You go a whole week. You are, isn't it amazing how much stuff got yeast in it? You got, hold on. Like, we yeah. don't eat out. We do not eat out the whole week. We just like, nah, we ain't going to mess yeah. with it. We can, we can trust that even if, even, even if whatever, even the dressings, the, the seasonings, there's some seasonings that they make it with to make it more powdery. They, they put uh, yeast on it. So, just be careful eating outside. Yep, James, I grill every night. Just be a discipline. Get that grill out. Get you some unleavened bread. We got what today? What they call Pagan Day Friday. We got Saturday. We got Sunday, and then that's it for the for the first three festivals are done until we get you know fifty some days out, and then we get into the uh, Sabo. Sabo. All right, and this is I'm being faithful as much as I know I, I know to be. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Look, also said said my, my, my grilling skills are improved. No, hey, ain't that amazing? You get better and better with that grill. When Yahoo will come and tear this earth up, shut stuff down, what y'all think y'all gonna do? Speaking of, they're gonna make me go in, Lena. Oh man. Y'all gonna mess around, make me go in. Hazoo!
Hazoo, Revelation chapter 9, verse 20, going in. Hazoo 9. Yeah. Revelation, Hazoo chapter 9, verse 20. And the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues did not repent of the works of their hands. They would not stop worshiping demons. Ready for this, Lena? This is after Yahoo has poured the bowls out. You know, jacks up a third to a third to two thirds of the water. All these plagues are coming on the earth. And, and all the people see these. He said, but they would not stop worshiping demons, idols of gold, idols of silver. Idols of brass and idols of stone, idols of wood, none of which are able to see, nor hear, nor talk. And these people did not repent of their murders. They did not repent of their murders, nor of their drug sorcerers, nor of their whore and sexual immorality, nor of them thieving. He said, even with all that, people were holding on to their idols, Lena. They were holding on with all they got and going, no, this can't be wrong. One day, Jesus is going to come out the sky and stop all these plagues. No, Jesus no, doesn't stop anything. Jesus don't even exist. So how yes. do we get to Easter? Now I'm going to tear a hole in Easter. Y'all been waiting on this? Put your seatbelt on. I'm going to tear a hole in Easter. The Britannica Encyclopedia, 1934 edition, states Easter, Esther, also known as Ostara or Easter, was the goddess of spring in the religion of the ancient Angles and Saxons. Anglo Saxons. Every April, a festival was celebrated in her honor. With the beginnings of Christianity, the old gods were put aside. From then on, the festival was celebrated in honor of the resurrection of Christ, but was still known as Easter after the old goddess. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a mess. It is totally a mess. Now, in the spirit of love, let's spend a little time tearing down some idols. <laughs> that many unknowingly follow and are led astray. Easter, Easter, yeah. Now here's the key. We're not here to offend, but if you get offended, you know why you got offended. Easter's a wicked abomination. The word has been adopted from, from pagans as an attempt to utilize what's called syncretism. Try to blend it in. That's a, that's a behavior that is absolutely an abomination to Yahuwah. So if you recognize Halloween for what that is, then it should be no different to recognize Easter for what it is. When this is exposed, it's going to start to fulfill the prophecies of Hazun 18. That's how deep this is, Lena. Because prophecies are getting it fulfilled once we expose and tear these things down. Most people don't understand. Joe Carter coming in with that super kingdom business. Most people don't understand that when we're doing what we're doing, we're part of the fulfilling of Revelation. Of the of the prophecies. Now watch. So, like if you go read Hazun 18, you're gonna go, man, that's we're doing it. Babylon is still with us, but for a fact, it's gonna fall. 
Easter was celebrated by the Assyrians and the Phoenicians and the Philistines. You should look up the word Easter in the Webster's Dictionary and do further research in other sources. The festival involved the rites of the spring near the equinox of Venus when the pagans believed that the Mother Earth was impregnated by the sun. This is what Easter's all about, what I'm sharing with y'all. They engaged in ritual sex acts and they used symbols of sex fertility like eggs, rabbits, and hot cross buns. What is the Easter bunny doing in this? It's the symbol of the sex fertility, the fertility and the yeah. abominable sex they were having. You understand? That's what's going on. The Babylonian symbol for the female was and still is a circle with the crux beneath it. The round cakes were baked for the queen of heaven. That's why we don't do no birthday cakes no more. These cakes are made for the queen of heaven, Regina Coley, or Regina Coley, and the great mother, Magna Mater, with the cross symbol indicating the female. The cross also indicated the equinox when the Earth's orbit crossed the celestial equator. Think about that. What are we talking about? Crazy paganism. A lot of idolatry. To ensure a prosperous growing season with their crops. Y'all believe in this mess? We're tearing it down right now. No, we don't celebrate birthdays, Adam. Because we don't do, we used to, before we knew better. We said, oh, what's so wrong? And even once we found Yahuwah, we were still trying to figure it out. Right, Lena? We were still trying yeah. to figure it out. And then all of a sudden, we as we got down and Yahuwah just, oh, he goes, you said when you burn that cake and you put them little hats on, well, hats those little wizard hats, witch. those are witch wizard hats. Witch hats. Like, oh, there you go. Yeah, we don't. The only thing we do is just strict the the seven feasts of Yahuwah. We don't do seven feasts of Yahuwah. Not even, not even nothing that is related. We with don't the do no Fourth of, of July, countries, uh, Thanksgiving, none of that. Uh, not, Memorial not Day. We're, we're just keeping it like the closest to what Yahuwah has asked to do. That is those seven feasts, and that's it. You, you don't know all that is man-made and you don't know where it really came from. So it just is best to stay safe and, and, and listen to Yahuwah. All right, honey, let's do this at the same time. We're going to shoot a hole in Easter. Ready? Okay. One more time. Ready? One, two, three. All right, we're going to shoot a hole in Easter's head. <laughs> to ensure prosperous growing season, Pagans would roll their eggs decorated with bright colors of spring of their, uh, of, on their fields, hoping to get the eggs to get fertile. That's why they would roll the eggs, Lena. These eggs were then hidden from the, quote, evil spirits in rabbit's nest. Another symbol of fertility. The United States federal government does this very thing on the White House lawn every year on Easter Sunday. Every year, the most powerful government in the world, as of now, does this practice right out front, perpetuating it to the country. Pagan. Wait a minute. <laughs> Easter is the name of the Babylonian mother of harlots 
that's spoken of in Hazun 17. People don't even pick that part up, man. Hardly anybody picks up that all these prophecies about the end time and revelation, these pagan, a lot of these pagan holidays play right into it. That's why I like Christmas and Easter are the top two. Because they feed you right in the revelation. Yeah. yeah they try they tried to make it fit like if they are from the scriptures. Yeah. King James, the original King James, it's, it's got the word Easter you. in it. It's got the word Easter in it. They even in the new King James, they correct it and go, we can't put that in there. Because there's no word in the scriptures, the word Easter. But they put it in old King James that everybody. Hold on. Y'all ain't even going to believe this. Yes, you will. Because y'all like the truth. Y'all love the truth. So in Revelation 17, Easter is that Babylonian mother of harlots. And her image stands as the sun goddess located as Lady Liberty in the New York Harbor called the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Easter. Easter. Y'all want to know who Easter is? Y'all want to get a symbol of what they made her up to be? Look at your Statue of Liberty in the USA. There you go. That's Easter. That's the sun goddess. That's the one, the mother of harlots that Revelation 17 talks about. And that people praise and honor in the USA. Say, bring me your poor, your wretched. We will take them in. Come on in to the mother of harlots. Yeah. What are you talking about? I don't play with none of that nonsense. So every time y'all go, y'all want to go visit the Statue of Liberty, you're, you're paying homage to the mother of harlots. Whenever you are celebrating Easter, you might as well go down and bow down and just start doing your little bow down to the Statue of Liberty. This colossal statue even has a tower as the headpiece. And it's seen as is seen worn by Artemis. So that headpiece is Artemis, another pagan leader. It don't stop. Another one. Yes. You got Easter up there, Ashira, which is really what it is. Then you bring in the god, the, the pagan Artemis up there. In the Tanakh, this is she is identified as Ashira. I'm telling y'all, Nimrod's mama and wife. <laughs> Sean said, you tell people happy birthday? No, listen, stop. everybody stop trying to angle us. When we say we don't participate, we don't participate. We don't say happy this. We don't do no acknowledgement. We don't do none of it. You can't twist our arms. We don't do any of that nonsense. We don't do it. All right, this, <laughs> the seven horns or sun rays should be a strong indication of her true identity. Go look up the Statue of Liberty real quick. Tell me how many horns you see off of. This all be interesting for everybody. Yeah, go do it. I'm going to go over and do it with y'all. I ought to put the picture up. You looking it up, Lena? <laughs> huh? Yes. I thought you got real quiet. Yeah. I'll put my... Uh, I mean, how many horns coming off of that Artemis on... How many horns coming off the Statue of Liberty? That's Ashura. That's Ishtar. Right there. Look at Amber. Seven. Oh, is that a coincidence? Seven. Y'all think that's a coincidence? Y'all think this is a coincidence? Nah. 
I'm gonna keep Rich, going. Rich Cap said, like all movies uh, has that coming out in the beginning. Yeah, that's crazy. Got that mother of harlots in the beginning. The seven horns are what are known as the seven sun rays. And that should be a strong indication of her true identity. Her emblem is the flower of the lily seen, illustrated. Well, you can see it illustrated because it's showing you. Okay. An American society <laughs> called the Easter Seals Society. Y'all heard of the Easter Seals? Very famous. Uses the fleur de lis, the French flower of the lily, as their logo. And they have no religious affiliations whatsoever. At the Statue of Liberty, there is a plaque dedicating the image uh, to the Mother Earth Easter. Come on, Lena. Yeah. Nobody's even looked at that. No, and look what, like, just just going to Wikipedia. Look what it said. The statue is a figure of Libertas, the Roman goddess of liberty. Like, it's just even telling you right there. You don't have to do, like, a big research to know that that's pagan. Crazy. Crazy. Lena, I don't, I don't know if you heard what I said. It's crazy. If, listen. If you go visit the Statue of Liberty, Lena, listen to this carefully. I think you was doing something. I want you to come, but I want you to hear this. There's a plaque. You know what a plaque is? Yes. A, yeah, I heard right? that. I heard you. On the Statue of Liberty, it says it's dedicating this to the Mother Earth, East Star. Is. It's so pagan, it's crazy. And it's right there in front of everybody. That's what the truth of all this paganism is being there in front of everybody. But people just ignore it or they think, oh, it's okay to have all these GODs. It's okay to have all these GODs. So that's why people have accepted all this. What are y'all going to do with this? Tear it down. Tear it down. Hold on. I ain't done yet. I'm almost there. And I'm sure they're teaching this to the kids in school. They do. <laughs> like to dead, like it says it there, East Star. There's a plaque dedicating it. Most churches decorate with lilies on Easter morning. And that's a fact. Because they're all involved in the paganism. They you say, why y'all doing it? Oh, that's tradition, it's custom. Yeah. They bring that to all the Virgin Marys here all year round, the lilies. So instead of inheriting the truth, Lena, they've inherited lies. People have inherited lies of Babylon. Like, why are things occurring the way they're occurring? How did Easter get here? You can't just go, my mama did it, my grandma, they told me to do it. You're not going to get by with Yahuwah like that. It really is a junk pile. <laughs> That's what the thing is. Yeah. See, we know who's behind it. Nimrod, Asmolech, Baal, Mithras, and so on. He is also one with his mama Ishtar. Sunday, Sunday is his diversion. It's a lie. Easter Sunday, what they say? Easter, Easter's Sunday. Look what it is. Mama and son married. Mama and son. Easter and son God Zeus, they're married together on the Sunday. We ain't got to wait for no beast. The beast is already here. It's in front of your face. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It's, all, it's so clear. What y'all going to do with this? Tear it down. 
pagan religions throughout time paralleled each other, carrying the sun and mother earth, the child model, the virgin from Babylon. They carried it from Media, Persia, Phoenicia, Egypt, Greece, Rome, and the Celts. The Medes cooked the mythology into Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism, producing the magicians, priests called the Magi. They worship Ahura, Haoma, and Orzmazd as their trinity. There's your trinity. We don't mess with no trinity. We don't worship Ahura, Haoma, and Orzmazd. The Greeks, they hold up Zeus as their son deity, whose mother was Lydia, shown riding a swan. Guess what? Her headpiece is just like Easter's headpiece. Then you can look at Athena and Ishtar, and you'll see you're seeing the same exact person. What y'all gonna do with this? Yeah, Cheryl said, mother and son are in every culture around the earth. They take it from there. They just change it from culture to culture to make you think it's okay to give praises to all these this virgins and, and these mothers and all that. That's why they, where do you think the Mother Day comes from? That's not from Yahuwah. Mother's Day is Easter. Yep. Y'all gonna ask us that one too. Y'all celebrate Mother's Day? No. We don't no celebrate Day, Easter. No Day. We don't celebrate Father's Day, Nimrod's Day. We don't celebrate. It don't say it in the scriptures to do it. So leave it alone. Yep. Like, like, like if you come, come up with something of your own, by the way. Like, if you want to say, hey, we're going to celebrate, you know, we're having this special time together as our family on this day of the year and this family day. All right, do your thing. But why are you going to try to make an excuse? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm celebrating Mother's Day because, you know, that's I really honor my mother. Me and mom, we can watch her get a little tore up every year. Cause she don't get no flowers. She don't get no special notification from us. After twelve years, she she got <laughs> now she's like all oh, the hell with it. <laughs> you ready? Let's go. From the outset, the pagans were absorbed into Christianity. It was the policy, they made it a policy to accept everything they were accustomed to celebrating. You can hear it directly from the Catholic organization itself. The Catholic Cardinal John Henry Newman in his book, The Essay on the Development of Christian Doctrine, published in 1978. In 1878, published in 1878, states in chapter eight. You ready for this, Lena? Let's go. Ready. I don't know if y'all ready for this. This is tearing down meticulously. Yes. The rulers of the church, the Catholic church, from the early times were prepared, should the occasion arise, to adopt, to imitate, or to sanctify, means to give it their approval, the existing rights and customs of the population. That means they were prepared to just do what the pagans were doing. As well as the philosophy of the educated class. The use of temples and those dedicated to particular saints and ornamented on occasion with branches of trees, wreaths, incense, lamps, candles, votive offerings, 
on recovering from illnesses, holy water, holy days, and seasons, the entire church calendar, use of calendars, processions, blessings on the fields, sacerdotal vestments, the ring in marriage, chants, the, Ky the, Ky the Kyrie Eliasson are all of pagan origin. And the world still thinking that they are now being ruled by the Catholic Church. Yet the church sanctified it and adopted it into the church. End quote. That's from a Catholic <laughs> cardinal. He said that these are all pagan origin. There you have it. <laughs> Quotes. If Easter was a pagan festival celebrating the impregnation of Mother Earth, how did it get mixed up with Christianity? Christianity's pagan connection started with one man more than any other. Guess who the one man is? Oh man, Constantine. <laughs> yes, Daniel. He said the nerve of them to think that they have the authority and or power to add to or take away anything from the pure true worship of Yahuwah. That's what they have done. The Pope, he can wake up one day and said, I had a vision. And we're going to change this part of the scripture of the Bible. And we're going to start doing this today. And because they think he is the Alua. It's just how crazy it is. And the world is being ruled by them. There's no other religions. But the Catholic is the root of everything. Okay. I'm, we're not done. You want me to keep going, man? I'm going to keep I'm, going. Keep ready, going. Ready, get, your, get, your gun, get, your, get your spiritual gun back up. Pow. One more time. One, <laughs> two, three. Pow. All right. In 325 CE or AD, the Roman Emperor Constantine convened what now is called the Council of Nicaea. He gathered hundreds of elders bishops together in order to unify basic doctrines and teachings that we've talked about many times before and establish common practices. This universalizing produced the Catholic Church. So it was the Council of Nicaea that actually created the Catholic Church. The, word, the Latin word Catholic means universal. There was no Catholic on the planet until the Council of Nicaea. Y'all realize that? That's amazing. There was no Catholic on planet Earth until the Council of Nicaea. <laughs> the only council mentioned in the writings conducted by the first Nazarenes or Nazarim is mentioned in Acts Mahashim 15. The purpose which was to determine how to accommodate the Guyin, the Gentile converts who were turning to the true creator. The only topic at that council was circumcision since immersion in the name of Yahuwah and receiving the, re the spirit of Yahuwah into your heart is our circumcision. It was decided that physical circumcision was not necessary. <laughs> Everybody get that? That's a very important point to understand for all adult male guyim. I mean, if you were not raised as a, a way of Yahuwah or Yahuwah, you don't have to get circumcised. But I'm going to tell you, if you have a baby and it's a male, you must on the eighth day circumcise that baby. Y'all got that? 
That's how it works now. Okay. Some of the men going, Phew. but some of the men going, I'm going to go do it. It's up to you. Constantine's council sought to institute new tolerances for pagan patterns <laughs> and outlaw the patterns of the Savior, Yahuwah Mashiach, that were lived and taught. He had already proclaimed Sunday, Dia Solis, the day of rest, dedicated to the sun. He did that in 321. A.D. or C.E. Now it came time to synchronize or syncretize more pagan customs by not repenting and turning away from all these pagan foolishness. For them, it was much more simpler just to absorb paganism and figure out how to blend it in. Political and religious control Y'all know slippery. So by keeping the pagan rituals in place, they were able to maintain control of the people with minimal effort, Lena. Yeah. Yeah, because if he stay if they stay to the truth and they and they fight for the truth, they knew there was not gonna have that many followers because most of the people was pagan. So the opposite of truth became the custom of the world. Everybody got that? Yeah. So the opposite of the truth became the accepted practice of the world because the most powerful government said, this is how we're going to do it. And it's okay. <clears throat> Rather than make 99% of the people conform to a totally new proper behavior. Now you become they giving out memberships, Lee. Kingdom business. <laughs> He's doing kingdom business. Y'all getting a membership into the Promote the Truth YouTube community. So now y'all get that ribbon beside you when you come in here. Thank you, Daniel. And we do some other little perks inside there. More of it coming. Y'all bear with us because we're doing all this translation. So Lena, so rather than get the, because you got 99% of the people were pagan. Yeah. 1% was following the scriptures. So they were like, the governments, Constantine and them, they were like, look, let's just adopt the pagan stuff. That's a lot easier. Let's just put a little scriptural spin on it and put the, and get all these pagan customs in here. This is what overwhelmed all of our ancestors. And they were being taught this as, as young children. Paganism has always been highly skilled at wrapping paganistic behaviors together with righteousness. They're highly skilled at it, Lena. Making the loosely understood things just, just get it all clouded up. And then they're going to call it the mysteries of faith. In order to blend practices into the universal Catholic behavior, the real Shabbat was outlawed. It was what? It was outlawed. Mm-hmm. They knew the real Shabbat. They knew it. It was outlawed along with the Pasaha, the Passover was outlawed, and other observances of the appointed times. So all appointed times, Lena, was outlawed. <clears throat> Y'all want to know why you don't know this stuff? Convenient. This, this was a prophecy that was revealed in Daniel. Daniel. In the prophecy, the four beasts or kingdoms would arise, which are clearly, number one, y'all learning today, Babylon, number two, Media Persia, number three, 
Greece. Number four, Rome. That's your Danny Y'all. You, you don't have to go a long way to guess this. You got to be paying attention to what's going on. At Danny Y'all 725, Daniel 725, the fourth beast is clearly described. The fourth beast is the kingdom that will appear on earth. And that is Rome. That's the fourth beast. It will be different from all the other kingdoms and it will devour the entire earth. Trampling it down and crushing it. The 10 horns are the 10 kings who will come out of this kingdom of Rome. Caesars, Kaisers, Kaisers, Czars, Julius Caesar up to Constantine. These are these 10 kings that's in the prophecy of Daniel. After them, another king will arise, different from the earlier ones. So Constantine fused sun worshipers with Nazarian teachings and writings and was not the family name of Caesar. So Constantine did not take on the name Caesar. He said, I'm emperor. So he was different as the scripture says, Lena. Now it says that he will subdue three kings. He will speak against the most high, Yahuwah. He will oppress Yahuwah's saint. They say, look, they, this is important, right? He's going to oppress the set apart ones. Annette Green's in the building. She see me tearing it down. Tear it down. With the support of my awesome wife. Love you, Annette. So, Lena, look. It says that he will speak against the Most High and oppress his set apart ones. Yeah. And he will think and try to change times and laws. Did they change the calendar? Yes or no? Yes, they did. Did they How take out the tries did they did? Huh? How they have to make so many tries. They put oh. 10 days, 7 days, 8 days. Nine days, they, they was... Y'all hear what Lena's saying? Seven day weeks, eight day week, 10 day weeks, nine day weeks. They've been all over the place. All over the place, yes. Crazy. So, did, okay, so he changed the calendar and changed laws. Didn't they take the second commandment out of the Catholic Bible? Yes. Is that changing the law? It is changing the law. Didn't they say that the Shabbat is no longer the true seventh day, but it will only be Sunday? Did they say that? Yes. So they changed the second. They took it out. They didn't just change it. They removed it. They changed the 10th commandment by splitting it into two. And then they changed the fourth commandment. And they completely obliterated the first and the second. And, and I mean, the first and the third commandment. Because the first one is, you got to have your who was named. The third one is, you can't bring his name to nothing. So they did all this. So the beast power has done what scripture has said. Yep. The changing of the set times, the appointed times, the creed at the Barim, <clears throat> the Barim 16 and Eurocara, Eurocara Leviticus 23, were wiped out and replaced with pagan observances like Easter. The hell y'all doing playing with Easter knowing this? Huh? Who gonna mess around with Easter? All you Christians that have this video sent to you by somebody that loves you, they trying to snatch you out of the fire. That's a real thing. Yes. Don't get offended. Get excited. Like, go, oh, man, I, I, like this is this is historical fact. 
This is no fiction. This is one historical book after the next. Verified that this is yeah. what happened. Yeah, do your own research. It's time to do your own research. Don't just take this belief that you have because your mom taught you, because your grandparents did it, because your great-grandparents did it, and it's a bunch of custom before. Just study for yourself. Find the truth on yourself. There's too many uh, evidence out there that this was manipulated. Everything was manipulated. So if you're listening to this and any of your, uh, of your Huan friends have sent you this, just take your time analyze everything and have some common sense with everything. Make questions. Is this make sense? If the way things have come in the world, is this they're supposed to be? I have been deceived. We all was deceived. I was a Catholic in a, in, in a time in my life. It don't mean that I'm going to just stay into that because I know it's deception. So I decided to call on Yahuwah and you can call on Yahuwah too after you do your own research and see the common sense of this, that everything makes sense, that everything aligns with what the true scripture says. It's deep. Like, this is a real call out because Easter is nothing but pagan period. I just laid it out. There's nowhere in all of scripture, even in your Greek up scriptures, Bible. It mm -hmm. tells you to celebrate Easter. Observe Easter. No way. No. It tells you to do Passover and it tells you the dates. But what they did with it, what they did, they said that now everything has been uh, being a wave because Je Jehusha was nailed to the stake. It's not true. Nope. That was that no way. nail. The law was no nail to the stake. The sacrifice, the sacrificials, they, they, they were, but not, not celebrating and observing the, this feast. Yahuwah said forever and forever, still forever. Still. <laughs> the end of the world. We don't, we are we out of forever? Are we out of forever yet, Lena? Are we still in forever? We're still in forever until the <laughs> world is not burned up. We're still in forever. We so still in forever. That's, that's very, very, very important that we all analyze that. Shout out to our sister Sherry Harris, three hundred sixty-three dollars and seventy-six cents to tsnt.org. She understands the assignment today. We got Thank Elmer Hinko, three dollars. You see, you Elmer. get his fingers around what you got. That's when you see somebody going, "Man, I got this is what I can squeeze out today for the kingdom." Celeste, Celeste in the building came in with fifty. Celeste Monique. Sophia Taylor came in with 25. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. People caring, Lena. Yeah. People literally like they said, I want to do something about it. Dwayne Gordon coming in with 50. Not playing around. Dang. So go over Dang. to TSNT.org. I want to have my wife go through the true scriptures pack because April, and when we say these months, that's why you hear us go, okay, it's called the pagan month, April. Mm -hmm. We're tearing it down, even saying that, Lena. We go, oh, it's the pagan month, April. People, yeah. What do you mean by that? I say to people all the time, I go, April, you know, the pagan month, April. And they go, what are you talking about? I say it's named after pagan. I say, you know, people think it's uh, just showed up out of nowhere, but it's named after a pagan. So I'm identifying with you that I know it's a pagan month, right? But I follow a true calendar. We can talk about it some other time if you like to. And I keep it moving. And then people come back and what are you talking about? So yes. let's go in on April the 15th is the cutoff for the for the TSNT portion. So the true scriptures, New Testament, our goal is to have a major fundraise going all the way to April the 15th that's going to help push out. Now, let me tell you all what's going to happen. And then I'm going to have Lena explain these packages. When we get to the 15th, the goal is there right around there. To have all the New Testament properly translated by me and my team. And we don't play. We are not biased. You can't buy us. We cannot stand any outside influences. We're very, we're like, we will be hostile towards it. If you try to mess with us and try to shove Judaism or Christianity or Catholicism or 
or Greek stuff, we will go, we you will see the warrior in us come out. Right? Oh. We don't deal with none of that nonsense. We literally just put the word down. Whether that fits into our lifestyle or not is irrelevant. We make our life fit into the real word, not make the real word fit into our lives. That's what we do when we translate. We yes. do not, under any circumstances, allow translation to contradict itself. It is the obligation of the translator, that's a real translator, to not allow that to happen. Otherwise, there's a problem. You can't just say a word is a word and not have an understanding of how the word got there. Many words in English have multiple meanings. Many words in most languages have multiple yes. meanings depending on how it's put in the sentence. Cool. So you can't be lazy. You can't be lazy. I'm going to say one more time, you can't be lazy in translation. Mm -hmm. So when we go in and we and your brother is the main translator and overseer. Yahuwah has appointed me, like it or not, Jay, I tell myself, you like it or not, you were appointed. You try to run me, he'll chase me down like he did with Yuna. Throw me in the, he, hey, he had me swallowed up. So I decided to submit with full happiness in my heart. I'm going to be honest. I battled this for years, y'all. I didn't, I didn't really want to go do the whole religious thing. I wasn't in the do I'm like, nah. Too yeah. much fake up in there. And I understand now why I didn't. Because it is fake. I've only really liked real. Okay? I don't want no fake chicken. I want some real chicken. I don't want no fake chicken. I don't want no fake steak. I want some real steak. You understand? So I don't want nothing fake. I want something real. So what we're going to do, when we get to the 15th, our mission is we got to have probably 10 to 12 people go over back and forth crazy amounts over about a week period of time looking at those scriptures. What they're going to do is come back to me and say, Jay, look at this. Look at that. There's going to be many eyeballs on it. So we're going to scrub it. Make sure it's tight. Then we're going to get professional editors to make sure it's structured right. Yes. Lena right now is working with the team negotiating distribution. Yes. We can do mega advertisements on mega channels to go ahead and challenge out in the world. But man, y'all know what advertising is like on these big channels. It's expensive. But do you want people saved all around the world? Can you contribute? Y'all been spending money. I've been spending money on all kind of nonsense all of our lives. We've never had nothing as important as this, ever. No. And we can say we put something into and we can sit there. When it comes out, you put your chest out and go, man. I supported those true scriptures. So when TSNT dot or so the, the 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 New Testament portion is finished, I'm waiting for my wife to come back here. Tell Kyle we're at important time. So when the so when the New Testament, when we say the fifteenth is done, all the team going into hyper mode to get that book tighten up. Ready for distribution for our advertisement. Yes. Then we roll over into the old the old, the, the Tanakh Old the Testament Tanakh campaign. We start ripping through that because I've already showed you this. I've already showed you nonsense today in translation. Yeah. I've already showed you. And you just and need to go that. and do Barashid. You go to Barashid. It's fifty chapters right there that you can you can tell. Just take your 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 pagan uh, Bible that you have in home and go through Barashid, the digital scripture, and you're gonna see, you're gonna see the difference. Just even when 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 Yahuwah is saying uh, how he created the world in the in the seven days, they're trying to make it like it's from evening to morning a day, which don't make no sense because wow. it was a wrong translation. 
So now you have the true translation, the beginning of the scriptures are all in the digital uh, true scriptures. And so, none of them. That's right. Go get any version you want. No, none of the versions even translate Genesis chapter one right. They don't get the first chapter right. Go pick up a version. Yeah. They go sell you on evening to morning being a day. Say it one more time. If you accept all English translations, you're going to have to accept from the time the evening starts to the morning comes up, that equals one day. I mean, I can't even, even. It don't make no sense. I knew that a long time ago. I knew back when I first found Yahoo, I'm like, that ain't right. Ain't right. I knew it wasn't right. I'm like, that's not right. That's 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 got to be wrong. Trying trying to put like the day starting at evening, and it's all because Jewish trying to make it like you supposed to start a Shabbat on the evening. That's it. That's all. Pharisee teaching. That's all. That's that's Masorites. That's vowel points. That's a mess. Guess what? You ain't got none of that. The true scriptures, because they can't fool me. I can boldly say it. They can't fool me with the scriptures. You can't fool me with vowel points. You can't do it no more. It took me years. It took me years. To weed through all them vowel points and understanding, ah, this is way simpler. They don't try to confuse this to keep keep control of the people. <clears throat> That's enough of that mess. So I want to show you the true scriptures you got till the 15th. Getting your name on that t-shirt is going to be important. So Lena, here we go. All you new people that are watching the, the true scriptures project, we have packages that you can support. Well, you contribute, and then we give you some benefits for contributing. And so, Lena, let's talk about the bronze package, would you? Yeah, so this is for the new people or the ones that have already contributed and you haven't get to the $300. So this first pack is the bronze pack, and you will receive a beautiful bound promoter truth, a hardcover professional staff brick head ash. So you're going to get the New Testament, the brick head ash translated without no influence of any religion um organized religions and um you're gonna also get with that you're gonna get a i support promote the truth hat and you're gonna get a t-shirt with your name in the bag it's that there's gonna be a list of all the supporters of the project in the back of your of the t-shirt that's for the three hundred dollars you're muted like that, honey and so maybe they want to understand a little bit about what it looks like. So like like on that T-shirt over there towards the left, uh, where it says their name, it has a whole list of all the names coming down, right? Yes, yes. And actually, once we're done explaining the packages, you have a picture, uh, the one that uh, Sister I'm going to put it up real quick. Watch shared. it. I'm going to put it up real quick. All right, there we go. So Amber sent us that. That comes from Sister Amber House. She threw it on her bed, and then she took a quick picture. And as you can see, we do, we did a cutoff. We got two cutoffs for the New Testament. We got December the 31st. Of course, that's passed. And then we got April the 15th. So explain what they're seeing here, Lena. Yes. So what you're seeing right now is the people that got to any packages before December 31st, by December 31st. So those names was there and they got a special uh, design made just for these people. And uh, on April 20, uh, 15, there's going to be another shirt where these people, plus those that started from the pagan January to April 15, are going to be in this list. So obviously, it's going to be way more than what you're seeing here. Hey, 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 if you, if you listen to the live and your name is on that shirt, drop in the chat. Just like Daniel Libby said, my name is on that shirt. Come on, Daniel Bacote with that stupid. All right, so here's what you do. Everybody who's got their name on that shirt said, put my name is on that shirt. That way, when we come out with the next shirt and we do a big old live and we got telethons going on, everybody can say, my name is on that shirt, Lena. It should be hundreds yeah. and hundreds of names 
on that shirt. So let's go back real quick. Uh, so that's how it's going to be there. You're going to get your hat. The most important is you're going to get a hardcover, professionally stamped copy yes. of the true scriptures. And then the next level, Lena, what we got? We get the silver pack is $500 and you can accumulate. So you can start with five, 10, $20. You can start in the bronze pack and keep accumulated to get to the next level. So this one is $500 and you will receive everything that we talked to you about in the bronze pack. Plus you're gonna get a coffee mug and a notebook and you're gonna have VIP access for our upcoming PTT virtual retreat that we are scheduling on this spring of 2024. So here you go, you can see the mug, you can see the notebook, the shirt, and you can see the hat. And the most important thing, as we said, the hardcover of the true scriptures of the Brick Hat Ash. I love this. Look at all the people saying my name is on that shirt. Brother Maurice Ravenel said, I'm in the top right hand corner. <laughs> So everybody's going to know what position their name's on that shirt. And when the next shirt comes out, it's going to be a whole bunch of more names. But we want people to see all the names on the back of that shirt when you're wearing around. Go, what is that? What are you talking about? What is that? All right. So you got an idea Look, about Renee. what this huh? Yeah, Renee. Daniel Bacata said he got his shirt today. Oh, um, Daniel, what did you think when you got that shirt, Daniel? Randy Moon has his shirt today, too. And his name is on it. Sophia, my name is on that shirt. Amber, my name is on that shirt. Wow. They got their shirts Anna, today. Some of them got their shirts today. Michael Fiki, my name is on that shirt. Yahoo Above All, my name is on that shirt. Uh, well Done, my name is on that shirt. Yahoo Maurice, my name is on that shirt. Top right corner. This, uh, Sweet P, my name is on that shirt. Jamie Galloway, my name is on that shirt. Matthew Wells, my name is on that shirt. Dwayne Cordham, my name is on that shirt. <laughs> Gerald Underwood, my name is on that shirt. My wife's name is on that shirt. Robert Aronson, my name is on that shirt. Rush, my name is on that shirt. Brandon, my name is on that shirt. Yamani, my name is on that shirt. Marquise and Lane, my name is on that shirt. Mike, I'm on it. Luya, my name is on that shirt. Archella, my name is on that shirt. Annette Green, my name is on that shirt. Emily Aguilar, my name is on that shirt. Woo! Jeremy, Look at that, Lane. My name is on that shirt. I love this. Hey, you didn't think you was going to have to do that many people that was on here live, did you? Danielle Levy, this is amazing. Congratulations to everyone here. Congratulations, is that great? really. Look, that's Sherry beautiful. said she got her shirt yesterday. Woo! This, that's beautiful, man. I love that. All right, let's keep progressing, Lena. We got the gold package. What happens at the we gold the pack? Gold, we got the gold pack, and that one is $1,000, and you will receive everything that was offered on the bronze and the silver pack. Plus, you're going to get um, a backpack, a prestigious Promoted Truth backpack, and a blanket. I think you guys already saw Daniel Bacata's blanket. is huge, beautiful, wow. perfect for the next benefit that you're going to get, that you're also going to receive a first right opportunity to participate in our limited space, first time in person Promoted Truth Sakud that is going to be uh, celebrated in Colombia, South America, on uh, September 2024. And you will also receive a personal Zoom meeting with Promote the Truth leaders. So hey. get ready because after April 15, all these Zooms are going to, the, all the Zooms are going to start getting scheduled now for after uh, April 15. So get ready, get ready. Show us the picture of all the- hey, Hold on, Lena, hold on, Lena, hold on. Because you said that the people that get to at least go, they have the first right of opportunity to come to the Sukkot in beautiful Colombia and South America. Most people don't have a vision. We're going to be over this beautiful lake, Kalima. So I got yes. the I got the promo video I think we should show right now as we this is show different than we normally did. Here goes the promo video. It's about two and a half minutes. This is where we're gonna be at in September. If you would like to be able to join us, let's go.
Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Is that beautiful? So I can, Is that I can beautiful? wait to see you all uh, here. So make sure you get to the goal level. That way you get the first right. And uh, we will be sending all this information with uh, uh, all the, the prizes and the kind of um, uh, accommodations available. That way everybody can start doing the reservations and letting us know what 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 um, accommodation you want but that will be probably i'm thinking that the same time after the uh, april 15 everything is going to be sent out to people that way we know who finished and what and we can send one email to everybody okay Absolutely. so here with the gold package you will have the first right to get down here to secure and fellowship with all your Yahooam family. Okay, now we have the platinum packages. And remember, you can accumulate your way up. If if you are in the 300, the 500, the 1,000, you can keep going until April 15. Uh, this platinum package is 2,500, and you will receive what was offered in all of the other three packages, plus you having a beautifully bound three-part hardcover autograph series. So that's going to include the Tanakh, the Old Testament, the Brihadash, the New Testament, and a combined one book, Tanakh and Brihadash, one scripture, uh, on the completion of the full project. And you're going to have two Promoted Truth tumblers, additionally with a coffee mug, additional hat, an additional T-shirt, an additional backpack, two pet bandanas, and two hoodie sweaters. Oh, those hoodies are really good. <laughs> and as a bonus, we are going to send you a copy of the memorable, professionally compiled and edited True Scripture Project documentary video. If you choose, you will be invited to a personally um, to do a personal testimonial in, to be used in this documentary. And we anticipate completion of the entire project by the end of the uh, Pagan December 2024. And right here, you can have a visual of what is coming into this planning on package, the 2,500 package. You can see the notebook, the hats, the shirts, the uh, hoodies, the pet bandanas, the blankets, the backpacks, tumblers, mugs, and the true scriptures that are the most important thing. And we're going to the diamond package. We have two diamonds already. And we have some um, coming in the way to diamond. I know they are very close. So our top tier package, you will receive what's offered in all the other four packages. Plus, you will receive three sets of the beautiful bound three parts are covered professionally stamped autograph series. That includes the Tanakh, the Brihadash, and the combined book of the Tanakh and the Brihadash on the finish uh, on the ed finish of this project. Uh, you're also going to have a total of five Promoted Truth tumblers, five coffee mugs, five hats, five t-shirts, five backpacks, five pet bandanas, five hoodie sweaters, uh, the True Scripture Project documentary video. You will be invited to provide a longer video testimonial to be used in the documentary. Again, we anticipate completion of the entire project by the end of the Pagan December of this year. Um, also, you're gonna receive a two one hour private Zoom meeting with Scholar J um, to ask whatever deep questions you, you would like and you have. So this again, this is going to be scheduled after April 15, because that's the time we finalize all the list of all the packages, okay? We did an exception with December 31st, but it was to send the items. Then we're going to do April 15 is the cutoff to get into these packages and us being able to get a final list and start contacting everybody. And you have a visual right here of everything that you get. You can accumulate your way, as I was saying. You can also... Um, Accumulate the package by giving what you can now and when you can give more, do so. Every time you contribute, you, we keep a track of it. And once you hit a pack tier milestone, you will receive uh, the tier benefits and also a, ba a badge 
So you're getting every time you go into levels, you're getting your own badge. And uh, let's say you contribute today $100 and then another 100 in two weeks and then another 100 well, before the 15th of April, you will then be uh, at $300, uh, so we'll hit the bronze pack. And do it like that until April 15th, you will be able to do that accumulation through this whole project. And you can and you can be able to contribute in multiple ways. You can use credit card, debit card, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, crypto is exploding now again. Uh, stocks. So you know, we've had people I think do pretty much all those ways except stocks. But what I love about this, Lena, is that we give you a lot of options. So when you go to tsnt.org, you can use all those methods there. Say that again. You can use at tsnt.org. You can use your credit card, debit card, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, crypto, or stocks. If you want to use another form of pay, you can use Cash App, Venmo, or Zelle. So we, if you just send an email to info at promote the truth.com, info at promote the truth.com, the staff will send you back the Cash App, Venmo, or Zelle instructions to get you hooked up right away. So I'm excited about, you know, you covering that, Lena. That talks about our packages. It gives look, people look what ideas. Daniel says. What do you say? Look what Daniel Bacate says. He said, family, I am blown away with the quality of the PTT swag. They are absolutely top notch. And I don't like them. I love them. So yeah. we really take our time to yeah. pick the best quality of uh, because every one of you deserves to have the best. And we are representing Yahuwah. We cannot come with chintzy things. And you have the name of Yahuwah. It needs to represent. So that's why we're doing everything with the love and with the quality that is being sent. And, and all, all the package from December, uh, Pagan December 31st have been sent out. All right. So all the packages from December 31st have been sent out. Now, there's some of you that... The, the the didn't get your shirt sizes. There's just a few, right? Didn't have your addresses right. The staff's gonna reach back out to you. So if you didn't get it in or didn't respond, expect to go out in the next wave, which will be probably like the third or fourth week of the pagan month they call April, or the probably like the first of May, somewhere around there. They'll get it all together, depending on how big of a push we have going into the 15th. The key here is you're witnessing kingdom business yes. we're not here just to be messing around talking about some halfway message we're here on purpose we're here to go after that target yahuwah deserves the best the enemy has been going to work forever and it hasn't got tore down lena and people haven't stopped and took the time to go wait a minute let me look at it so I'm going to give y'all some scriptures to show y'all how serious this is. Y'all thought y'all were going to get out of here without me giving y'all some more doses. But I'm going to give y'all a few more doses before we let out. We're going over to Uraquara, chapter 19. Uraquara, because I just, Yahoo was talking to me. I'm just saying, while you were talking, I was quiet. I'm letting Yahoo talk to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uriquara, which is Leviticus 19.4. Do not turn to idols and do not make for yourselves molded mighty ones. I am Yahuwah, your Alua. So why does Yahuwah keep talking about this over and over? Think about that. He, he just over and over and over, Talaim, right? So Talaim, which is Psalms. Let's go check out what Duweed had to say. Chapter 16, verse 4. The sorrows of those who run after another one are increased. I would not pour out their drink offerings of blood, nor take up their names on my lips. Yahuwah is the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You uphold my lot, O Yahuwah. Boundary lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Indeed, a good inheritance is mine. I bless Yahuwah 
who has given me counsel. My inward parts also instruct me in the night. I have set Yahuwah always before me because he is at my right hand and I am not shaken. So look at Dewey, David. He said, Yahuwah, how many times? Look at that. One, two, three. Three times he said the name Yahuwah within four verses. He said, a man after Yahuwah's own heart, not, I counted 97 times. In Talaim, Psalms, 97 times I counted what Dewey said Yahuwah's name. 97 times. And people don't want to understand how important his name is. He said he's a man after my own heart. Hold on. Let's go to, let's go to Judges real quick. Judges chapter 10, verse 14. This is going to be good, y'all. I'm going to see what y'all going to do with this. Judges chapter 10, verse 14. But you have forsaken me and served other mighty ones. Therefore, let them save you when you're in trouble. <laughs> That's what Yahuwah is saying. Right? Yahuwah said, let them save you when they're in trouble. Think about that. I want y'all to understand. We, we, doing, we doing real kingdom business. So when we get to the 15th, how many of y'all going to be on that roll call? You brand new people that's watching in. How many of y'all went over to TSNT and said, no, I'm in. I got to go. I got to support. I got to make it happen. Right? I got to do it. You know, it's the real New Testament. You ain't got one. There ain't no new, there's no real New Testament in the world. So that's why you can go over to TSNT. You can get the real, uh, the real, and you can, you can literally do something about this. How you feeling, babe? I, I am very excited to see the amount of people that have come to the realization of how important is this project. And you being able to show us day by day, live by life, the misleading with translations, uh, simple words that you will think you know makes a difference and is a huge huge misleading on how we're supposed to command ourselves and our lives and it's an honor to be able um to be in this position and support you and be that partner and being able to bring that truth to the world and have all of you here with us. I feel like we are, even though we're not in the same space, we're holding hands and, and staying, you know, truthful and keep going like in the front line. And this week has been beautiful because seeing all your videos, uh, your pictures, your the emails, the comments that you guys have sent with all of you representing Yahuwah this week, learning from the true scriptures. How many of you was able to do the ride festivals, the first uh -oh. ride festival? So all this, it was so beautiful. We all being in an agreement, all in the same calendar, following Yahuwah's law. It was, it, it's just beautiful. It's I'll just be back, beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm being very, very excited for all of us to um, for being together because we all deserve it and I know Yahuwah deserve it. It's very important that we are able to utilize everything that we have taught today, every single life that Jay have done, go back and watch them, take notes. I, like I'm taking notes myself because it's important. And that's, that's the way we're gonna be able to take the word to the rest of the world. We need to 
learning. We need to take, you know, um, um, for example, I'm not good memorizing a lot of things. Well, I have to make myself good at it. And how is the best way for me to do it? Taking notes. So I think it's very important for us to do to, to do that. I love seeing your pictures, your videos. That 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 relation that we are building together. So stay just keep sharing, keep sending your emails, info at promotetruth.com. Go to tsnt.org, share this page with different people. Share the video, the name video. You know right now you have the name video.com, so you can share that with a lot of people. That video has changed a lot of people's life, and a lot of you guys have come to promote the truth and to Yahuwah's name because of that video. So make sure you share all this. Use the tools. If you are a package holder, you're going to receive your items or you have received them yet, use all these tools to be able to witness to people. That's our job. We are here being an example for every one of you. We're no better than any one of you guys. We all need to keep spreading and keep sowing into Yahuwah's kingdom. So you're, you, we have, we have diff, uh, people in amazing countries, different countries around the world. We can keep spreading the name of Yahuwah. But it's your job, it's your energy, is Yahuwah in you that is going to take you to spread it. We know we are at the end because for all of us to be at the same on the same page on Yahuwah's feasts, this first three feasts that are so important and so many people doing it around the world, you know there's a big change happening in the world and Yahuwah is coming. Big time. Big time. Lena just dropped a big word for you right there. Listen, as we get into the wind down, I want to cover some awesome stuff. Put your seatbelts on. Put your seatbelts on. Let's go. We just, we just dropped Barashit. I don't think people understand the depth of this, Lena. This is what I wanted to do the crescendo with today. We already done smashed Easter. Easter's nut. Easter is nothing but pagan, period. If you want to go celebrate Easter, Asherah, you want to run after that knowing what we share with you, listen, more power to you, we're out. We're going to opt out of that one, and we're just going to sit back and see how Yahuwah works with you on that. Because we, we know he gave a, a, a promise that everybody that does that, he's throwing in the lake. And we don't want you in that lake. And you either believe that or you don't. We believe it. Now, bear a sheet. Let me explain this to you. It's the foundation of all the scriptures. You don't have any scriptures, Lena, without Barashit. No, it's the, we, it's the beginning of the beginning. We, we got to really like, okay, okay. Hold on, let me, let, me, let me grab this. Let me, let me think about this. So Barashit is the beginning. Now I'm telling y'all the first chapter you want to take your time on it because the, the first chapter will set you free. And so many. It'll, it'll snatch you out of paganism. It'll do a lot of things for you. It teaches you when a day starts. It teaches you how to keep time. Right? It teaches all these great things. It teaches you the true names from the beginning. Give you true names from the, you get everything from the beginning. So now we have what's called the Truth Scriptures Digital Collection. Let me put that up on the screen, Lena, because Ebony, Ebony, and everybody else, if someone haven't received the code for the digital download, make sure you send an email to info at promotetruth.com. Okay. So the D, the, the the TS Digital Collection. What we're doing is we're taking at least 10 of the books that are being translated and we're trying to have that be around five come from the Tanakh, the Old Testament, and around five or more. It's going to be at least five of the Old Testament, at least five of the New Testament, the Barit, the Barit Hadash. We're going to put them on a digital platform, okay? If you go over to, over to Truth, scriptures.info then 
You'll get it. Let me see here. There we go. Got it on the screen now. So TS Digital Collection. That's the True Scriptures Digital Collection. If you go to truescriptures.info, you will see that we now have Abarim, that's Hebrews, the entire 13 chapters. They're there. You can buy just the words itself, just the scripture itself, 10 bucks. What's happening is you're helping support the platforms. All these things cost money, and we're going to, we're going to make these accessible to you, so pitch in. If you want the power study guides, which I suggest everybody gets, because the power study guides is perpetual to where we'll keep adding content to it. So you got these guides in there now, and then I'm going to start adding videos, audios, and all kind of other cool things in there. So that's $19.95. Now, if you are a TSNT.org bronze or a package member, so any package, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, you get lifetime free access to these. So every time we release one, see the $9.95 for just the words itself, or $19.95 for the power study guys. Not nothing big. And it's the most accurate in the world. Okay. You got first, second, third, Yahoo Hanan. So first, second, first, second, and third John's over there. Again, $9.95 for the words, $19.95 for all the stuff. And then we just added 50 chapters of Barashit. 50. Y'all pick that up. 50. All right. So right now we don't. On the way. Huh? What's that? And power studies on the way. Power study guides. I've already got five of them done, and we're just going to be loading them up. So Lena's working with the team to get those loaded. So right now they only have the power study guides available. Probably within the week they'll open up the, the only the scriptures only the nine ninety five one. So you can go over there, pay nineteen ninety five, and you can get access to it right now. Now, I'm going to read to you part of the first chapter of Barashit. I'm going to prove some stuff to you why this is so important. Okay? And I didn't expect to do this, but I'm listening to Yahoo, Elena. So I hope you don't mind, huh? I always hear with you. Okay. She says she don't mind, y'all. So I'm going to chapter one. And I'm going to read. Here I go. Barashit Genesis 1 1. In the beginning, Alua created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was a shapeless, formless substance. See, Lena, most people don't pick that part up. Hold on, I got to put this over here. This is too good. I got to read. What I'm about to do here, this crescendo for the day, I can feel it in my spirit. It's going to be something special. So, Seatbelt time. I just got to I gotta make sure I got this dialed in. You thought what seatbelts was off? Put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they could take them off, Lena? That's yeah, pretty interesting. They're back on. Okay, put them right back on. Okay, so here we go. In the beginning, Alua created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was a shapeless, formless substance and darkness was over the surface of the deep, formless substance. And the spirit of Alua hovered over the vapors of the formless substance. There's not one. There's not one translation in the world, Lena, that calls that the formless substance. Not one. But when I read it in the Hebrew, that's the best way to translate that out for the reader to get what Masha was being told by Yahuwah. Because Yahuwah and the messengers was teaching Masha what to write. So if you miss the formless substance, you done missed all of your power. Not some of your power. You missed all of your power that's available to you. So most people, they don't, they don't understand that, Lena. Because what is the formless substance? Hmm? 
Now watch. Hey, Kai. Kai. Come here. Now watch this. Watch my son. Nine, just turn nine. I'm teaching him about Genesis, Bereshit, chapter one. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. And it says, and the earth was a shapeless, formless substance. The formless substance is the thinking stuff. Mm -hmm. From which what? From which everything is made. Say it loud. I can't hear you. Yeah. From which what? From which everything is made of. Okay, so my son told you that the the formless substance is thinking material. It's active, and what is what? What's made of it? Everything. Air. Everything. Hold on, you you dropped a hand. My son knows it. Hold on. So the formless substance. Come here, Kyle. Let him see you. What is the formless substance? The air. The air. What is it? The air. The air. Can you get in here? Stay in here. Can you escape air? No. You can't get away from it? Uh, well, you can, but if you escape of it, you will not breathe and you'll be dead. So if you escape it, you will not breathe. You'll be dead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, son. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about your son right there, lady? Just coming in going. Yeah, he knows, you know, he knows that he studied. He see every day with us. We teach him the right word of Yahuwah. We teach him the way of taking the scriptures because that's what we're talking today. And I was saying, it's not just some words that Masha just wrote there to kind of keep a track of what Yahuwah did. He's teaching how to live, how we need to think, how we need to act how to need to do things. And that's how we raise our son. Then I'm thinking about doing a high level kingdom of Yahuwah leader. Well, we did one leadership. I'm thinking about doing a high level one to where we just drive that home and everybody accesses the true power of Yahuwah. Because if you miss that, you're going to miss all the powers available to you. Yeah. But see, when I'm with my son and Lena with us, we talk him through these scriptures to get him to understand his power. If I say, Kai, who are you? Right? He'll start telling you. Well, you can just say, how many things are you? If I say, give me eight things of who you are. He understands the form of substance. Hardly anybody listening to me right now, up until now, has stopped and thought that that form of substance is the air. And you can't escape air. Not one part of your body. Nothing on earth, no material, no desk, no drawers, no nothing, no cars, no metal, no nothing. It permeates everything. It permeates everything. So the formless substance was there in existence and it, in what you can create anything out of it. You hear that? Say it again. What'd you say, babe? You come to us. Did you hear that? Anything <laughs> can be cre created. Out of what? Out of air. It's the formless substance. It's the formless substance. And we are created in whose image? The image of Yahuwah. You see, we ain't see Satan knows this. And his mission has been, I don't ever, never, ever, never, ever want them to know. That's why he had who will eat that apple. Or I should say that fruit. So that you could not know. And that's been the battle on. But there's a few people on earth that go, oh, I got what that is. That's the formless substance that can create anything. Anything. You, you think you're going to run out of dirt? How many think we're going to run out of dirt? So when they dig and 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 dig dig dirt, how come dirt always comes back? Look at the desert. The desert. The sand, the sand, the sand, the sand. You think you dig all that sand out of the desert? It comes back. You want to know why? It's made from the formless substance. Formless substance. Y'all 
have been taught to only believe what you see and to be made to feel good it's about good. teachings of things you don't see, like it's so mystical. The true scriptures breaks it down. It tells you what it is. So when y'all see me do these power study guides, wait till I do number one. Wait till I do it, Lena. I think I'm going to do it within the week and drop it in there. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go, the earth was a shapeless, formless substance. And the darkness was over the surface of this deep, formless substance, twice said. And the spirit of Alua hovered over the vapors. Try to, try to grab vapors. Try to grab it. Yeah. Try to grab that vapor. Can't grab it. Hovered over the vapors of the formless substance. And Alua said, let there be light. And there was light. What did he talk to, Lena? What did he talk to, family? He talked to the formless substance. He told the formless substance that was dark. Can't touch it. But it, what you hear my son say, if we take you out of the stuff you can't touch, you die. Dead. You die. If we take you out of the formless substance, you de you're dead. And most people don't give enough proper, no, hardly anybody respects the formless substance. Now, He's, he called the light out of the formless substance, but it was just dark. So the light came out of the dark. That's why the dawn, that's why the darkness comes before the light. That's what they didn't understand in, in translation. It was the formless substance there. And then Yahuwah said, let there be light. Bing, dawn. Hold on. And Alua saw the light. He liked it. He liked it. And the light was good. I mean, when he said it was good, he goes, oh, I like that. Then Alua divided the light from the darkness. He says, man, if I just let light be here, there won't be any darkness. People ain't going to rest. <laughs> right? Yeah. So he separates the light from the darkness. Now, wait a minute, Lena. In verse five, he says, and Alua called the light day. So he gave the light hours a title of day. So look what it's teaching you in the fifth verse, the first sentence, Lena. It's teaching you what a day is. What yeah. is a day? Lena, what is a day? Whenever it's light in the sky. Can my wife say that for everybody one more time? What is, what's the definition of day? Whenever there's light in the sky. Can the dark ever be day? No. The dark can never be day, ever. It tell us there what dark is. How Hold do you on. Call it? <laughs> Lena said, let's keep it, you rocking. And Alua called the light day, and the darkness he called night. What's the name of darkness, Lena? Night. Night. Is that too hard for everybody to understand? No. So how could a person ever call the dark day and believe that's true? Deception. Now watch this, y'all. Watch what's learned in the first five verses of the true scriptures. Real translation. At, okay, listen. And Alua called the light day and the darkness he called night. Now remember, he separated them. After the first day had completed. Watch this. So after the first day, what's the day? The light time. Light. Only light, right? Then the evening and the morning came. This 
form the first date. D-A-T-E. Date. No day. It don't start at midnight. <laughs> hey. I had to get some ice on that one. <laughs> it's so hot. This is so That's hot. That's burning up. That's right. I was so hot, I had to get some ice. <laughs> hey, go get any translation you want. Not one of them is going to call that a, the first date. Not one. No. They're all going to call it day. The, you know what that is? It's called lazy translation. Yes. It's called get along with everybody else. It's deception because that's where they come with. You can start a date at night, which is not true. Let's go. Let's get this everybody. Let's don't. Let's don't offend every. Let's don't offend nobody, Lena. We're gonna call a night day because we don't understand time because we don't understand the scriptures. 723 in Columbia right now. What do you so y'all understand what y'all y'all what y'all just learn in five verses? You learn the you learn there's a thinking substance, there's a, a active substance that you can't see. And it's a formless, you can't it has no particular form, but it's living and active. It has all the fullness of life in it. If you take the stuff out that you can't feel out of your room, you die. So how much respect are you giving to the formless substance? That's the first thing you should be learning. You understand? That's the first thing you should be learning. I got to, and I want to do a high level Leadership training, if y'all interested in that, drop it in the chat because I don't even have to get past verse two and we can take people to an atmosphere of personal growth and spiritual growth just from verse two. But Holly, hey, ain't too many people can handle it, Lena. Me and you talk about this. No. Yes, I said, Lena, I want to do this training, but I don't know if, if the community is ready for that training on verse two. But my son, the child walks in here and before I can get it out. He goes, air. He goes, you'll die if you take it out. He was so it was simple. All right, I'm going back and watch my cartoons. <laughs> simple. But adults we make it so hard to understand wow. when it's just right there. That's why what Yahushua said when he was here walking. Bring me some child. Bring me a child. Do not Bring let these child. child do not keep the children away. Daniel Bacote said, we need that high level. Hey, I only want a handful of people in there. What's the max that we should let in that one, Lena? Like the high level where I go in on verse two. Like y'all never even thought about this. And people pay me thousands and thousands and don't they, Lena? They pay, yes. me, thou they pay me thousands of dollars to teach them this, but they don't know that I'm teaching them from the scriptures. And then I teach them about Yahuwah after I teach them, per these are personal growth. People out in the business world, thousands of dollars. I said, man, Jay teaches that. And I'm talking about people tore up. They go nuts. Once they see it, their whole life changes. Yeah. But the kingdom, we got to get y'all indoctrinated from all this Greek policy that's down in your soul. But when we get that Greek policy out of you, Man, oh, who who Richard going at in here, Lena? <laughs> Brother Richard going at. I don't know. Here. Someone told him, "I hope you're not a troll," but I don't see Richard saying nothing wrong. So, guys, who is that person? Richard is that person in here, so we can get him out. <laughs> so listen, and Alua said, "Let there be light," and the light was good. Then Alua divided the, 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 the light from the darkness. Alua called the light day and the darkness he called night. He's, and then after the first day had finished, all that light had finished. So now all the light is finished. Then the evening came and then came the morning. 
And that formed the first date. And Alua said, let there be an expanse in the firmament formed out of the mist of the moist vapors. So now the vapors are getting moisturized because now he's starting to make water. Out of the formless substance. So the so the the moist vapors, Lena, comes out of the formless substance, fam. Y'all got that? Yes. The moist vapors comes out of the formless substance. What that's teaching you is now Yahuwah is making water. But he's taking it out of the vapors and he's moisturizing. He's creating water. And now he's going to create an expanse, a dome. He's going to make, he's going to create the expanse. That's the firmament, the dome, right? To protect everything. All right. And he said, let it be divided. This division formed the sky above and the oceans below. And it was so. And Alua named the expanse above the waters and the sky and the heavens. This completed the second day. Then evening and morning came. This formed the second day. So now we got the second date. See, we're learning how to keep time, how to do days here. Y'all following it? Yahuwah teaches us how to do days. He does. Clear and simple. All right. So I just want to give y'all a taste that that breakdown is available to you. In the right there, true scriptures.info, you'll start to learn the real word, but you can't fly past the first chapter. You need to just absorb the first chapter of bear a sheet. Because if you get that down and you come into agreement with it, then all the rest of the scriptures will make sense to you. Verse 26. And Alua said, Let us make man in our image. And after our likeness. See, our image and our likeness. Yahuwah introduces the word our. So there means there's more beings involved in this process outside of him now. That he wants to do something. He's looking at other beings. And he said, let us make man after the images that I'm looking at after our li like us arms, legs, feet, ears, nose. We got this because they look like this. You got that? And let yeah. them rule. Oh, let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the skies and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that crawls on the earth. And Alua created man in his own image. So we look like Yahuwah. In the image of Alua, he created him. Now it goes and blows everything out the water. Male and female, he created them. So the fullness of man is the humans. That's where we get one man to complete man. So the completeness of humans is man and woman. Now. He said, let us make them in our own image, male and female. Lena, hardly anybody's going to even imagine what I'm going to say next. Oh, I understand. No. Hardly anybody going to say that. Yeah, there had to be somebody that looked like a woman that he's looking at. Or he sees, or he is. Y'all understand that? 
In order yes. for a female, otherwise, let's all throw it in and go, this is all garbage. There has to be a female image somewhere in that vicinity for the female to be created. Yes. Then the next part I'm going to say is, he said, let us make man. Did the woman immediately show up? Nope. But did Yahuwah create the female when he said he created the female? Yes. Yes. When, when human beings first showed up, it showed up in the form of just a man. But Yahuwah had already created the female right there. But it was in the thinking stuff. And he didn't speak it to form yet. Ooh, Lena. See, there's a whole lot of stuff you can create in your mind and it's created. Then you got to speak it into the, into the, the, the thinking formless substance. Then that stuff, if your faith is right, like Yahuwah don't doubt nothing he visualizes. Everything he visualizes, he, he speaks it, it comes true. We can do the same thing. But you got to grow to that because you've been so greeked up. Now, I've been learning more and more over these years how to do this. I think that's why Satan hates me so much, man. Because I've been learning how to speak stuff out of the formless substance and it show up. How many times you see me do it, honey? A lot of times. Uh-huh. I speak stuff in formless substance and then my faith matches it and then it shows up. So that's, that's the power of his name. That's the power of the faith. That's the power in his name. That's why through the whole scripture, it said there's power in his name. All right. So we're done. I don't know. Hey, did y'all get the assignment today? We'll see. Because most of the time the power comes in when we're done. Right. Go to tsnt.org. If y'all love what we're doing, we need to have the support to continue to take it to the levels it needs to go to. I'm fa I'm not worried about it happening. Not at all. The support's going to be there. We're going to build a massive kingdom treasury. We're going to go rival some of the media conglomerates of the world because the right people understand the assignment. We're going to keep deleting and blocking and ignoring any haters. You have no space in our feelings whatsoever. Say what you want. It's the last time you'll say it with us. We're gone. So go to TSNT. TSNT.org. Everybody that hears this message, whether live or recording, and just, I want you to think first fruits. As we wrap up the week of Pasaha, the Pasaha, as we wrap it up, the Passover, the first fruits, the matzah. As we wrap it up, I want you thinking first fruits for you. I want you to get a big blessing out of this. I want you to begin. Like when I taught you, Lena knows where I was going. My son's going to talk to me right when I get out. He's going, yeah. I bet you Kai's going to say, are you going to teach them on that level there to where they get to know that? I say that you got to have that faith. You got to yeah. be willing to sow into that faith. So that's why we love the first fruits. We don't say much. We just sit back and watch who understands the assignment. That's why you see Daniel Bacote coming in saying kingdom business. Daniel saw it from day one. He, he came in, tiptoed a little bit, said, I'm going to go for the bronze by the, you know, within the next couple. Boom! With the diamond. Because once he tipped his feet in, he goes, oh man, this water's good. I'm diving all in these living waters. So we going in. Everybody, get over there to tsnt.org. My wife, closing, closing thoughts and comments. tsnt.org, this project is the biggest project since Yahuwah was in the flesh in this earth. We have to bring the true word to the world, to our families, to ourselves. We deserve to know the truth. Like we have found Yahuwah. You have found Yahuwah. But now you need the correct translations. We cannot keep this deception, keep going and going. We all need to do something. Like when there's issues with the government, are you going to just stay there and just keep doing things instead of like following that? 
instead of making something happen. So it's time for us to make something happen. We have to change all this deception and we have, we have right now the tools to do it. So with Promote the Truth, with TSNT.org, we can make this change together. You can be part of that. Make sure your name is right in that shirt because being in that shirt, it means that you participate in bringing the true word of Yahuwah to the whole world because that's what we're going to do. We're bringing the true word of Yahuwah. I'm really proud of everyone here today, seeing new names, new faces, um, all this great energy. Thank you, Raj. Thank you, Emily. Marquis. I see it live by the load. Um, hey, Mary Matthew's a new face in here. She's been in here going at it with us. She's been in here back to back. Yeah. Hey, and live by the law, should we be involved in politics? Well, you know politics. where they what what they are. You're you're seeing what they're what they doing, uh, and who they are praising. So you do your own, you know, you do own judgments on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ask us if me and Lena vote. No. Nope. That should tell you enough. Let them do what they want. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, Yahoo is establishing a new kingdom soon. Yes, you do what Yahuwah said you to do, follow his commandment, follow his face. He, you can build your own life based on Yahuwah and you're not going to need nothing else. So let's stick together. Let's make sure this word comes out. Let's make sure we share every one of these lives, these teletons of today. Thank you all for the support, for the love. And let's, you know, let's stay together. We, we just need each other. And Yahuwah, I know he, he's feeling proud that every one of you are doing the right thing this week. Remember on Pagan Sunday, so on our seventh day of the Matzah, we're having a gathering. Uh, we're doing... 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom. 12 p.m. Eastern? Yeah, 12 p.m. Eastern. And we're going to stream it over into uh, YouTube as well. Okay, so stay tuned. It's going to be a Zoom link, so you're going to have to register into it. And uh, Yeah, they got to register. We'll set that up tonight or tomorrow. Uh, you'll see it go over to our Telegram group. It'll go to the database. We'll put it on all of our social media. You'll see it there, so make sure you get plugged in. Mary Matthew said, I'm in tears right now. Bless you, sister. You got a great heart. I can feel Mary got some great energy. She wanted them ones. Stay in here close. All of y'all that felt this today, stay in here close. Like, get up yes. in here with us. We Let me tell you, I'm going to end with this. Now, I'm going to pray, Lena. The 144 is what we're building. Hazum 14 ones. It says, let me go grab it. Revelation 14 one. And I looked and I saw a lamb standing on Mount Zion. Mount Zion. And with him was 144,000 people. Having his father's name written upon their foreheads. That means your foremost thoughts. Well, we believe that that 144,000 is not even going to come close to getting to here until there's really 144 real followers of Yahuwah on the earth who exercise his full power. Yahuwah called me back in May 2007 and said, go tell the world who I am, establish my word. And nobody, hardly, I should say, hardly anybody was saying anything on the internet about Yahuwah. You wasn't found on Google, wasn't there. And now I believe, I've got the faith. I mean, what else can we think? Daniel Bacote, some more business in the building. I believe right now, that because of the website we built and the SEO search engine optimization we did, I believe Promote the Truth spurned on this massive movement of people knowing about the name of Yahuwah, Lena. Yeah. I, I believe it with all my heart. I just got a yeah. message came in from our, our, our music production team, Lena. Hold on a second. Oh. I got a message. Let me, I got a message came in from the music production team. So something's you guys going are going to love it. <laughs> Hold on, I got, I got, I got, I got something coming in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You it just came in. Taste. 
man, what is going on here? You're going to give them a taste? Should I give them a little taste of the new song? Y'all want a little taste of the new Yahoo music coming out from Promote the Truth? Huh? What y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? Tell us in the chat. You want to hear a little bit? Y'all want to hear a little snippet? I'm going to see, Lena. I don't know if they really want to know. Let me see. Yes, please. Yes, need it. Yahoo's music. Yes, fire emojis. Yes. Yes. Uh, hold on. Can you hear that, Lena? Yes, I'm I'm listening. You can hear it through the computer or you just hear me and you? No, I can hear it through the computer. For real? For real, for real. Hold on. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. Y'all go hear something. I don't want y'all to hear it yet. I just got a I just got a message. Put your mic on silent then. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna send it somewhere else. Y'all being slick. Y'all gonna hear all my good stuff. Wait a minute. William Pollock said we can hear it too. <laughs> <laughs> y'all weren't supposed to hear it through my system. Yeah, I don't got that playing through the system. Why is it messing with me? Sherry said, I heard it. I immediately start dancing, Rush said. <laughs> Come on now. But we're doing all kind of stuff. We're gonna have we're gonna put out the most powerhouse movie about Yahoo that we believe the world's ever seen. It's gonna take a lot of financing to do it. So we just getting started on, on how we're gonna build it out. All right, hold on, I'm going over here. I gotta check some stuff out. I'm gonna put this thing on. Hold on, before we get out of here, I'm gonna put it on mute. Cause y'all, y'all getting the sneak y'all ain't supposed to get. I'll be right. Hold on, Lynn. Come on, everybody say. Hannah said I heard it. I did too. Turn it back. <laughs> so a lot of things are coming. A lot of work. The team is doing a lot of work behind the scenes with all the support that every one of you have done. We've been able to do translations. We're doing a lot of advertisement, marketing, being able to get the best of the best for all of you on those uh, swag items. And now coming with our music, with the music department for Yahoo, because, you know, not only that uh, you, some of you have talked about it, but we also want to listen songs that don't have pagan words. And we know that even the ones and I appreciate, really appreciate those singers that have come with the Yahua music. Uh, but still, there's some influences of the Greek and the Jewish. So we still have words like Elohim and other names that are not the correct names. So it was time to get that clean up too. So the way Yahua tell us that we need to clean our tongues, we need to make sure what we're singing is the correct thing. So I'm very excited for this. I have heard um, some of the, the songs that are coming out. And I can wait for every one of you to get a sample and a taste in a few minutes. What do you say? Are they ready to listen a little bit of that? <laughs> Look at his face. Look at him. That's not fair because I cannot hear nothing here. Come on. <laughs> Suhail, Suhail said, Suhail said, Jay is jamming. Yes, we, are, we agree with you, Sister Lina. Yeah, Marquish, we just need good songs out. And we know we have the talent. Is Amber a part of the music project? Well, you already know, Ebony. <laughs> Hold on, I'm back. What did they say? Ebony says, Sister Amber, a part of this music project. Oh, yeah. We got to do, we don't get her lined up in the studios. Right now, we got all of our people. We got, we got professionals we're bringing in. I'm writing music. I feel like a dream of my own. I've always been writing music and stuff. I said, Lena, I'm going to write this for, for Yahoo. Yes. Emily said, he's teasing us, as y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jay. Hold on. I'm trying to get y'all there. I can't even, I got, because see, this is going to go out on Spotify and go all over the place. It's going to go out, you know, Apple Music, whatnot. So I got to be careful how when I give y'all a snippet, I got to be careful how this lays out because, you know, 
I could get myself yeah. in the circumstances in three situations. Delina <laughs> <laughs> laughing yes. at me. So this is it's been, it's, it's been a fun, you know, busy but fun project, uh, bringing the true word of Jehovah. Uh, I'm really honored to be in here in this position and have you all here. I know every one of you watching this, supporting TSMT.org, sharing every one of these, being just part of that number that is right there on those that are being the ones watching live right now, that make you part of this community. It makes you part of this team and you should feel proud and honored to be here right now because not there's nobody else in the world doing this. And this this haven't done. Like I'm 38 years old and there's deception in, in all this group on all those Bibles. And I know a lot of you are have more years than me and still know that. I know like hundred years ago is still deception and it's been thousands of years of deceptions. And now we are here together, being the ones with the opportunity to change that. That's a big honor. I, I, I love that. So I'm very excited for what is coming. And I can hear, I can wait to hear that. So come on. All right. So I'm thinking about playing a little snippet of this. Uh, I'm thinking about, I'm going to play it. Hold on. I got to upload it right now. I'm going to upload it. But Martin, this, I got two, I got, I got, two, Rita, we got two, I got three songs that we're, 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 go, we're supposed to have done by the end of the weekend. I got two of them here that they're asking for my approval on. I've been, I've been producing and with them and making sure that I, they get the words the way I, I want them to where it really reaches the world. <clears throat> but I think, uh, this was going to, I think this is going to reach the world. All right. So let me, let me load this one up, Lena. Because it's going to touch so many people's heart at a deep level. It's, it's a very emotional, passionate type song. All right. So I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to load it up. I had to scrub and make sure I ain't got no, I don't want them to know any names or anything yet. And I'm just going to give y'all the first little taste. I'm going to give you a little taste. Right. And, and that's it. That way y'all can know what, 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 what's happening, what we're building, what we're growing. We're going to have an entire whole music division. It just pumps out. Great. I'm talking about some of the jams of the jams. Not just spiritual music, whatever. We're talking about cutting edge music. That's the jams. We're going to hit them from every angle you can think of. And we're going to hit them yes. from every angle. And then people go, man, that's awesome. Yeah. That's some good, fun, powerhouse music that you don't have, that grandmama can jam to if she wants to. Nobody's got to be ashamed covering their ears and all that kind of stuff. So it's still processing. We're at about 50% processing. What did you think about me breaking down that bare sheet and just touching a little bit on the form of substance, Lee? What do you think about that? I love it. And I think it's great that um, people understand what Yahuwah really wanted to teach us from there. It's not just this, like there was this shape on the, on the you know, on, right there. And he just made a shape of the earth. But what it took and what he's trying to teach us from there and how us being as image of him, we're able to do the same thing and how the power of himself, we can use it to create things the way, the way he did it. So it's very important for our, our life. Yahuwah don't want us to be sick. He don't want us to be poor. He don't want us to have issues. But it's on us if we follow him, if we're doing the commandments, and we're utilizing the power of his name and the power of his teachings. So we should not have no disease, and we should not have no issues right. financially. So uh, that's, that's something big for the whole community of Jehovah. You know what's so funny about this song? It's, it's, it's not really uploading like all the other stuff uploads fast. I don't know if y'all want y'all to hear it yet. I don't think we got enough. Like, I don't think that the energy of the people going, man, let's hear this, you know, like the first song coming out from Yahoo. I don't know. Maybe people, I don't know, Lena, what do you think? You know, maybe they ain't feeling it. Like the energy, like, it's got, is there a you reason? You know, Yahoo always lead us to what is right to do. So, 
Yeah, because if it don't pull up, if it's just kind of like stuck sitting there processing, that's weird. All right, I'm, I'm yeah, a, when he I'm, says seriously. <laughs> I'm serious, yeah. It's sitting there. It's just, it, ain't, it normally just uploads, boom, boom, boom. I can share it the whole nine. Mm. Hold on, let me remove it. Maybe that, let me just get it. Look, Amber, like, let's get, <laughs> look at Mark. I, hey, I'm going to go check again and see if, what, what's the uploading. It's stuck. Maybe it's not the oh, right it time. Moved, it just moved a little bit. Just a little bit. Marquis said, come on, Jay. It, it, I'm telling you, man, it just moved a little bit. Like it was at 42% processing. Oh, it went to 46, and now it went to 53. It's just, it never, ever, never takes as long. I don't, hey, Yahoo might be saying, make them wait, make them wait. Okay, well, maybe on the 69. Ain't that too slow? Everybody probably got to go down. Everybody probably got to go already, Lena. Huh? Maybe everybody got to go because this is 69. No, this is 77, but everybody probably got to go to sleep now. They probably got to go. We've been here all day, you know. I don't Get, know. Everyone said, guess we got to wait. 85. Oh, I've never crazy. seen it take that long. All right. It's Sherry here. said, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> all right. Y'all ready for a taste? Let's get a taste. I had to make sure. That, all right. Everybody, turn your speakers up. Turn your speakers up. And you go see. So this is a song. I'm not even going to tell you the name of it. But this is a song where if you ever kind of, you, you felt like you might have, if, if you, well, yeah. When you call on Yahoo, there's gonna be sometimes you feel like you're getting off a little bit, and once you really call on him, he's gonna be right there with you, beside you. He's gonna swoop in and have your back. So this song is really like a love song with, between you and Yahoo at a deep level. Okay. So one, turn your speakers up. I'm going to give you just about a minute or two. A minute. I'm going to go minute, no longer than 90 seconds. Go. Taste, little taste. <laughs> I love it. You hear him come in, Lena? Yahoo. Hey, we brought that Yahoo in there. Just, just yeah. flowing that thing in there. That's your brother. Hey, your brother producing that song over here. Yeah, you did. I'm so. Cheryl said she's weeping. Cheryl's weeping, Lena. Y'all yeah. cried. I mean, that song. I said we're gonna drop that because I wanted, to, I wanted to have a deep personal song. Where we, 
Like Yahoo are talking to us, we talking to him. Because sometimes we just so hard on ourselves, but we got to understand, just give it all to him and go look in the mirror and say, I'm rolling with you, Yahoo. And I need you to sustain me. If my mind starts, if I can't focus on this, the thinking, the form of substance, and Yahoo comes right in there, he says, hold, just like he did. With Ali Yahoo, Elijah, he sustained him in that cave. So that song is really inspired by Ali Yahoo, Elijah. That's the reason why I came up with that song was to make sure that we understand that Yahoo is going to see us through. We just got to be strong. We got to dig down deep and come up. So how y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about that, Lena? Look, I, I love it. And I, I'm just reading all the messages. Everybody said, love it. Number one, he uh, number one, wow, love it, Yahoo, stand beside me, Yahoo. Um, why you cut it off? My daughter <laughs> always laughs and say Yahoo is talking to her and sitting next to me, to her. That's beautiful. I love to have this beautiful song coming through my speakers. My heart is singing. It's the melody. Thank you, Jan Lena. It's beautiful. All steam to Yahoo. I will be jamming that every day, multiple times, spoke to us for sure. My family doesn't get it, but my family here does. I can't wait to play it all in my house. Beautiful, much needed, great job. Simply beautiful, love, absolutely beautiful. When is this available? Morning wake up motivation. Thank you for the blessings, Brother Jay. Love it. I had tears. We gotta be strong. We need this true scriptures and the true music as soon as possible. Uh, it was. Well, we plan fire. on having that. We plan on having that release within the next ten days, in in all the world. Super chat, Deontay. Deontay, the building just got me set apart. <laughs> Cheryl said she apart. can't stop weep. She can't stop weeping over there. Yahoo! I told you that song is gonna get all. Of, I came in. When I was producing, Kyle Lee didn't know I was doing with the team. I said, look, but see, that's y'all. TSNT.org, we, we, that's part of the expanding. As people love that song, we're guiding them back to the true scriptures. They're like, who is that? Who is that? They're going to be like, who is that? They're not going to understand. Yeah. yeah. Y'all are the best teachers we could dream up. We are fall. <laughs> Full of gratitude. How'd you like that, Heather and Lane? How, did Lane like that, Heather? I want to know that that hit touch you down in the heart. That just that just had that soulful, deep, compassionate, loving power of Yahoo sound to it. That's what I feel. Amber House, <laughs> our, one of our music professionals, I, she loved it. All right. Yeah. Imagine y'all got that blasting, like you said, in your car speakers. You just feel you in the shower. Y'all going to be in the shower screaming. That out. Y'all gonna feel it. Some of y'all gonna cry for a good two, three hours first before you come up out of it. But that song. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The song showed the intimacy of our relationship with Yahuwah, says Celinthia. Yeah, Lane we said doing. it was beautiful. I need to sow a seed to the kingdom. I want to make Yahuwah proud. Hallelujah. Set up for music. Jay and Lena are living legends. You are revolutionaries. Brother Deontay Lane is gonna be in the shower yeah, the singing. Yeah, I was singing. I see it. Yeah, we going in on that. We going in. All right, yeah. I love y'all. I, I thought that's a good way to cap. Once I saw the message come in, I was like, "Oh, they supposed to hear a little taste of that before we get out." And then I didn't know, you know, because it was taking so long to load. But I think it. I think it. I think it was it worth was it. Let, 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 all right, hold on one second. All right, I'm gonna give y'all one little more little. I'm gonna start. I ain't gonna let y'all get the whole thing. I'm just going to give y'all a little bit of taste in here of it you know, before we get out of here. Y'all ready? Just a little bit of taste before we get out of here. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Lies, oh, 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 no one knows, but if I did, I know you'll stand beside me. Stand beside me. Oh, oh. If I ever lost my Yahoo! Don't want to lose, but if I did, I know you'll stand beside me. Stand beside me. Oh, if I ever lost my way, I know you'll be my guidance. Be my guidance. I got that. 
I don't know if they can take that later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people can take it. When that next verse come in, it's like, boom, it's on. It's <laughs> I love it. I Richard love going it. crazy over there. Y'all, whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Somebody picked it up. Look at that. Emily got it. Yeah. She got it. Look at that. If I ever lost my way, if I ever lost my way, I know you'll be my guidance. See, Jermaine? That's what we got to pick up by Yahuwah. When we got faith in him like that, when we love him like that, he will be our guidance. He will be the one that lead us. Right? If you lose your way a little bit, that's why you ain't got to worry about it. What it say about Abraham? Said he was a wanderer in a land that was not his own. But Yahuwah was with them, guiding him the whole time. He yeah. never, ever is going to leave us. Ever is he going to leave us. He will never forsake you. He will never do it. I've seen Satan try to choke me to the bone, have me by my throat, barely air, and I've seen Yahuwah take, snatch him off of me. That's enough. Yahuwah going to let you get tested. He going to let you get tested. And then by that time, that's enough. Leave him alone. And then he comes and looks at you. He goes, are you stronger? Are you tougher? You going to stand? All right, I'm going to bring you a few more tests just to see how strong you are. But right if you think you're going to break, he's going to say, that's enough. Get off of it. Yes. Hallelujah. Look, Rachel, okay, where Rachel come from? Yep, crying like a baby. Remember, Yahweh will never leave. Look, somebody, we ain't even heard Rachel speak today. That song done snatched her out. That's the power of music. We ain't even heard Rachel. That's Rachel, the power Rachel, of music. That's why Yahweh will love it. Yahuwah. That's what that's what Satan hates. He used to do that for Yahuwah. Now we do that. Yes. All right, I'm done, Lena. I'm out of here. What you got? You good? We, I think I think we're good. That song was the perfect. Maybe leave them out with that song. <laughs> Love you. Oh man, I tell y'all what. Y'all the bomb. Y'all the bomb. Y'all the bomb. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Please go to TSNT. Y'all, everybody that's contributed, that's resources. Come, that's the, some of the stuff we're doing. We told you we're going to be very creative. So we're coming out with all these different, because we got all these skill sets. It just requires the funding to get all this you're stuff done. You're part of it. You're being part of it. You're that's part of you. When you see that production go out, you go, man, I help support that production to come out. Yeah. yeah. Spreading Yahoo's name. Spreading Yahoo's name. Look, Richard said, I'm not ready to leave. <laughs> we got to go to our son and love on him. Y'all pray for your brother and sister. Y'all give a big shout out to our son, Kai, because he's been patient all day. His mom and dad have been here with y'all all day. Show some love, tsnt.org. Do your first fruits. We're going to be yeah. very, very great caring, great stewards of that. And we'll catch y'all back on Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Praise Standard. Down. Thank you, Yahuwah. I praise you, Father. I thank you for everyone listening now, Yahuwah. I just thank you for them. I know, Yahuwah, this way of life. In these 55 years I've been walking on this earth, not understanding so many things, looking back on my life, I can see where you were guiding my steps even when I didn't know which way to go. You looked in my heart. And you saw that I wanted to do the right thing. And my brothers and sisters here, Yahuwah, they've been the same way. They're the same way, Father. You know how me and you are together. And I'm praying that the way you and I are together, that you touch them with some of that deep love that you show me all the time, how you hold me with the little things. When I lose my keys and I ask you, Father, what are keys? Within a matter of minutes or less, you... Bring them to me. Every time, Yahuwah, you do it for me. You show me those breadcrumbs of what, how to lead right back to you every time. Let me know you're there. Even though we can't see your face right now and we don't hear your physical voice, you love us even that much more because we love you without seeing and hearing you. So that means our reward is going to be greater because one day we will see you face to face. And remember this prayer, Yahuwah, with me and my brothers and sisters here together. 
Lift them up, encourage them, sustain them like never before. Bless them. Encourage. When they plant into this incredible project, let that seed multiply beyond their wildest dreams. Let them see it too, Yahuwah. Like, let them see it. Like, let it be evident to them. And Yahuwah, when those voices of doubt come up, let them get the discipline to reach and grab for you to know that you're walking beside them and that's your hand there. As the right hand. They'll hold on to you, Yahuwah Mashiach, when they reach out. So I thank you for everything you do. I thank you for this week of matzah and that we all being, we're all being obedient to you. And for those of those that are learning to be obedient, snap them in their conscience, Yahuwah. Snap them in their conscience. Let them know to leave all that paganism behind. Give them the courage. Give them the strength to do it, Yahuwah. You're the mighty one, the almighty one. There's no one ever been like you. There's no one ever will be like you. And we stand with everything we got on that. We're counting on that, Yahoo. In your precious and mighty name, we all scream out and say, Alleluia! Alleluia! Yeah! We out of here, family. We'll catch y'all back here on Monday!